This video is going to demonstrate how to give a subcutaneous injection. A subcutaneous injection delivers medication into the fatty tissue just below your skin. First, you will need to wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water for 15 seconds. You can also apply hand sanitizer and rub into your hands for 15 seconds. Then, assemble and check your equipment. It is important to make sure the medication is not cloudy and no sediment is present. If you see either, notify your pharmacy or provider. Throw it away and use a new syringe. If your medication comes in a vial, you will need to draw up your medication. First, make sure to clean the rubber stopper with an alcohol pad. Then, pull the syringe plunger back until the air in the syringe equals the volume of the drug to be withdrawn from the vial. Insert the needle into the vial, inject the air, invert the vial, and withdraw the prescribed amount of medication. Make sure to keep the needle tip below the level of the solution while you are withdrawing the medication. Tap the syringe to clear any air from the top of the syringe. Cover the needle with the needle sheath. Medications can come in pre-filled syringes or a vial. Either way, the next steps will be the same. After you have your equipment ready, pick a location for the injection. Injection sites include your abdomen, at least one inch away from your navel, the front of the thigh, or the upper outer arm. Make sure to avoid areas where the skin is red, irritated, bruised, burned, hardened, scarred, or has lumps or stretch marks. Also, it is very important to rotate injection sites so your skin stays healthy and is able to absorb the medication. Different medications are absorbed better in certain areas of the body. Make sure to check with your provider as to which area is ideal for your medication. After you have picked a location for the injection, you will need to expose the site and clean the area. Use an alcohol pad or swab to clean a two inch area around the site you have chosen. Begin at the center of the site and move outward in a circular motion. Allow the site to dry. By allowing the skin to dry, this will help avoid stinging during the injection and make sure your skin is clean and germ free. After the skin is dry, remove the needle sheath from the syringe. Then hold the injecting syringe in your dominant hand and use the other hand to pinch a one inch fold of skin. Make sure the angled or beveled side of the needle is facing up. Then, with a quick, smooth motion, push the needle into the skin at an angle between 45 and 90 degrees. Release your skin and begin injecting the medication. Inject the medication by pushing carefully and slowly on the plunger at the end of the syringe. After the medication has been administered, remove the needle gently at the same angle it was inserted. Hold an alcohol pad over the site. Do not rub the area. Check the area for any bleeding or bruising. If there is any bleeding after five seconds, cover with the band-aid. Do not put the cap back on. Dispose of the used syringe in a hard container right away. Do not dispose of the used syringe in the garbage. After two hours, check the injection site for any signs of redness, swelling, or tenderness. If any of these signs are present and or do not go away in a few days, notify your clinic. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to call your clinic.